Kim Kardashian reminiscing about her past as a mischievous teenager led to her flirting with a man on a live chat call on Hulu's The Kardashians. About halfway through this week's episode, entitled When Is Being Me Gonna Be Okay?, Khloe Kardashian was at a mall in Century City, prepping for the first ever retail store for her good American brand. While the store was a nightmare, with everything far behind schedule, the 39-year-old Khloe, who made headlines for defending her fanny pack, reminisced on her past in that very mall, revealing to good American CEO Emma Greed that she got her ears pierced there. She also opened up about how the sisters used to use a 1-900 to live chat hotline to try and get men to meet them at that mall, when they were just 15. Instead of meeting the men, they would stand them up and covertly take Polaroid photographs of the men who came out to meet them. With Kim even getting the number from Courtney and fake flirting with a stranger while using the pseudonym Samantha. Chloe puts on some sunglasses and looks into the camera and says, This mall has been around for years. You should ask Courtney and Kim. They used to call 1 to 900 numbers and ask gentlemen to meet them here. Kim reveals in confession, so we would talk to these guys. We would be like 15, and then they would be like, Okay, meet me at Blockbuster at the mall. And we'd see the poor guy and we'd stand him up and we'd take a Polaroid and we have a book of Polaroids of these guys that we would stand up at the mall. Chloe reveals back at the mall that, Courtney still remembers the phone number, as it cuts back to Kim in confession, calling Courtney, asking if she remembers the 1-900 to number. Yeah, I know it by heart. She says the number but it's censored out of the broadcast, but Kim calls it, and it's still a live chat number. This is, censored, where naughty is nice. Your live chat starts now, the voice says, but Kim says, Courtney, you talk, you talk, but Courtney says, I am hanging up. A Mont's voice comes on the line as Kim says, hey, this is Samantha, while trying to disguise her voice a bit, as he says his name is Chris and he's from Ventura, California. Kim, Samantha says, I stay in Ventura County while trying not to laugh, as he says, oh that's great. I love Ventura, that's so good, but Kim says, you guys, and hangs up the phone with a laugh. I've gotta save that number in my phone, Kim says in confession, before it cuts back to the good American store. Chloe revealed in confession, we are at the Century City Mall and we are standing in the very first good American retail store, where you can come in, and it doesn't look like we are anywhere close to being open, and I mean, we're supposed to be open in a couple of weeks, so that's not happening, Chloe says in confession. She reveals to good American CEO Emma Greed, I got my ears pierced in this mall, one of them, and then I ran out of the store and my mom dragged me back placed me back down, did the other ear, and I never got another piercing, just these one on each side. Emma shows her blueprints of the store and candidly says, the whole thing is nightmare at the moment, because we are over budget, we are over time, we're trying to open four different stores like all at once and we are two weeks delayed. Chloe asks if there is still going to be a soft open in April but Emma says the soft opening will be in May. Chloe adds in confession, I feel like no matter where I turn, there's just stress after stress and problem after problem. Which is obviously adulting, no one warns you about this when you were young. Chloe asks if Vegas is on track, and Emma says, nothing's on track, because there's this like you know whole supply chain crisis and I can't get anything done on time. It's a nightmare, Chloe says in confession that, the goal is to maybe open 50 or so stores. I think we need to see how, you know, opening the first three go this year. Emma reiterates it's a nightmare, but it's more on track and we want to get it right, adding that, as long as they could get all of the stores open by the end of the year, then she'll be happy.